Ratifying the ILO Convention would be an effective tool to fight for fair terms of employment and wages on national level, the union says. Its General Secretary Nelly Kawa charges that the minimum wage introduced by the Labor and Industrial Relations Ministry in April does not make provision for the union to negotiate with employers to top up on other benefits. While it is a commendable effort for the minimum wage to be set at $1,200 per month, the union says deductions from the set wages still continue. First of all, let me welcome you all who are present here today and your willingness to join us at this press, press release. We thank the media for always finding time to attend our press release when we are all informing the public. Not only will the convention guide government on how to make a decent work environment a reality for domestic workers once implemented, it will also make provision for the development of new measures aimed at industry regulation. The union says it will undertake a regional mobilizing exercise for the ratification and implementation of the ILO convention. Our domestic workers can be declared and organized and be organized and be respected and so that they can benefit all the get the benefit but all the other domestic workers all over the world benefit. Dao also wants the 16th of June to be declared a national holiday to be complied with by employers in addition to the clause in the convention which stipulates that a weekly rest of at least 24 consecutive hours be afforded to domestic workers.